So I will uh, first of all speak a little bit about the check conditions of higher education. We are all times called higher education on this conference and uh, on this uh, graph you can see number of um, uh, uh, specializations in Czech universities which are concerned with environment, with ecology in the sense of environmental protection of ecologies, biological discipline, uh, and with sustainability. And even here we see that uh, from total 8,888 study programs, uh, only a very, very small number are concerned with sustainability. Well, we have 
have uh, uh, done some overview of it and it was not recent, so you cannot consider it as, as a research outcome. But you can see that uh, the ESD in higher education has been mentioned in several of these national strategies. And uh, uh, also <coughs> references to professional development in the field of ESD uh, has been mentioned, but uh, less less often. Yeah. So the three countries have reported about uh, some professional development strategies in the field. Uh, we have also been uh, examining the uh, institutional framework which is available for education of <coughs> on the higher education level. And um, uh, it was obvious that uh, uh, higher education institutions in this region are still in the process of transformation since uh, the global revolution and uh, entering the Bologna and Lisbon processes and other processes which are going on on European level, uh, there is still a lot of to be done in this region. Uh, we have also observed that there, there is that there are no system for professional development of university educators and there are no pedagogical requirements uh, in higher education. Um, when we have asked the uh, asked question if there are some strategic plans or guidelines, we see that only a few of them have been found in the region of East Europe. And um, uh, also on the university level, if we have looked through commitments of universities or mission statements or things like that, uh, only in very few countries. Uh, uh, are universities which have uh, commitment to sustainable development in their mission statement. In the quality assurance and accreditation process, there are literally no, uh, none of the countries have uh, uh, some recommendations uh, for uh, quality process in higher education for sustainable development. So it is obvious that uh, attention paid to uh, higher education pedagogy is not so good as it uh, should be because, uh, the, of, of course, innovative, uh, innovative methods can bring also new ways of thinking and transformation, which uh, offer uh, yeah, more quickly. Uh, and, um, we see that uh, ESD approaches and principles uh, are mainly in the field of systemic thinking because uh, many of the higher education programs are still concerned with ecological principles and uh, systems. Uh, on the other hand, uh, uh, there are many very good and committed uh, professionals on higher education levels. They are the seeds from which uh,
other parts of uh, Europe or uh, other countries. And uh, in many projects, uh, I have been mentioned application dimensions. That means that uh, university educators develop their competences within some practical activities. Uh, and also, research and production has been quite high. high. So, these are those critical factors that we have just previewed as an important for transition of universities to sustainable development. And uh, we somehow reflect this. Uh, uh, we perceive that for this lab it is understanding of sustainability. More countries are concerned still with protection, with some um, uh, practical control or uh, rather restrictive mechanisms than uh, was future in envisioning and strategic planning for sustainability in the long term. Uh, there is also a problem of transition of education system and was And uh, also, we should more look 